Constantine. Restrain her. Sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. <sighs> this makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed used and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us perhaps but i've seen death cousin and i understood the vanity of it all my father's ruses just so he could earn more power the political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations i have been offered unrivaled power allowing me to get rid of this to send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of cycles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever.
After the fall of Constantine, things went back to the way they were. The settlers kept flowing in, and the influence of the old nations on the island increased. It relegated the natives to small enclaves around their villages. The Malachor devastated everything, and eventually even appeared on Tiafredin. Of those who fought valiantly in Dorhad Genadu, very few survived, but they were crowned with glory. For despite their small number, they had managed to prevent the worst from happening. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his sister in arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. These precious friendships allowed my student to slowly forget Kurt's treason, even though she still feels bitter about it at times. Siora, who had taken back her role as the Donegad of her clan, convinced them to join the Donea Exregau. Her heart was still full of disappointment for the time she spent in vain alongside a Renaigse. Under Ulan's authority, the face of the island changed. New mines, fields, and sawmills appeared. Cities became larger. All of this contributed to the wealth and power of the Sisag Namais clan. At the expense of the others, the natives' hostility towards the Alliance has not diminished, and Governor Byrne is in a delicate situation, especially considering some sordid rumors in al Saad regarding the practices of the scholars he protects. Admiral Cabral had to face a mutiny, as it became apparent that the Guard had been informed of the Nort's secrets. More secretive than ever, the Nort's withdrew, only accepting the seaborn amongst them. Already weakened on the continent, the guard had trouble staying in control of San Mateus. At first, the religious population of the city rejected the authority of their commander, but due to its significant distance from Teleme, they eventually accepted it. Despite the negative influence of some shady members in their midst,